Hello, hello, good evening. Hello. Hello. Ana Cristina. Hello, my name is Douglas Arevalo. I'm going to be your teacher tonight. My name is Douglas Arevalo. I'm going to be professor this night. Okay, let's see. There's Wendy, Maria. Let me just check on something. Okay, let's see, let's see. Good evening, Karina. Good evening. As I was telling your classmates, my name is Douglas Arevalo. I'm going to be your teacher tonight. How are nice you? Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Great. What about you? I'm just fine, just fine. Here, happy to meet new people. And tell me, how was your day? Mm, it is so-so, I guess. It was, it's in the past. It was. So, so, why? Why so, yes. so? Come on, it's a Monday. Well, it's a Tuesday, it's a Tuesday. <laughs> yesterday, yes, Tuesday. yesterday was a day off. Ayer fue a yes. Yes, I know, but I have a lot of work today. Oh, really? Can yes. I ask you, what do you do? I am an accountant assistant, I do. Ooh, um, a lot of numbers. Yes. <laughs> and that's that's one of the areas that I don't like that much. <laughs> I don't like too, but it necessary work. <laughs> I don't like it. Not too. Either. I don't like either. Either. Remember that when you say too means también. That's positive. Oh, okay. But when you are expressing a negative. You are saying tampoco. Okay. okay? So that's yes. why in English tampoco it's either. I don't either. like it either. I don't like either. Okay, okay. So you had a lot to do today. Yes. Okay. And tell me what's your schedule? Um I study at seven to 11 and I work that at 12 to six. From 12 to six. Yes. Oh, that's a lot of work. Yes. <laughs> that's a heavy schedule. Yes, it is. Well, the good thing is that you're in English class. You're going to have vacation from English class for a couple of days. That's nice. Yes, I wait, I think. That's excellent. That's excellent. Well, thank you very much, Karina. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Ana Cristina, hello. Can you hear me now? Hello, Jeff. How are you, Miss? Uh, fine. How was your day? Um, a good day, a bad day, a regular day. Regular. Okay, okay. And what do you do, Miss? Can you tell me? What are your activities? Uh, accountant. An accountant. Yes, oh, really? Man. Accountant. Numbers. I don't like numbers. Well, I like numbers, yes. but I, I don't like taxes. <laughs> Actually, what I don't like is the taxes. Doing the taxes for me is terrible. It is something I don't like. It's stressful for me. Well, nice meeting you, Ana Cristina. I am happy to have you here in my class tonight. Yes. And we will talk later. Vamos a hablar luego, don't worry. Let's see, Maria okay. Romero, good evening. Good evening. Hello, miss, how are you? Fine, you? 
I'm just fine, just fine. And tell me, Maria Romero, what do you do? I'm a secretary and a teacher. A secretary and a teacher. Yes. Oh my gosh, you got two very different activities. Mm, yeah. Okay, tell me, what do you teach? Um, um, a little everything. A little bit? A little, uh, bit, a little bit. Repeat everything. with me. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Uh, yeah, when we are teachers, we have that. We have to teach sometimes a little bit of everything. But I I wore I wore more as a secretary. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you work with little kids. Mm, yes, and uh, adolescents. Teenagers. Teenagers. Yes. Teenagers. Well, teenagers for me is cool. Little yeah. kids for me is it's, difficult. No, no, it's difficult. It's fun, a lot of fun. Good for you. For, <laughs> for me, little kids are like, oh no, little kiddos. It's hard, it's very difficult. Well, nice meeting you, Maria. Thank you. Welcome to the nice class. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Let's see, Alejandra, hello. Hello. How are you, Miss? How are you, teacher? And tell me, Alejandra, what do you do? Uh, I'm sorry. I think I cannot hear you. Well, oh, your phone, the microphone is off again. I think you got frozen. Hello? Hello. Don't worry, Alejandra, we will talk later. Perhaps it's the sign out. You know, internet connection is not good. Let's see. Let's see, who else do I have here? Alexis, hello, mister, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you, mister? I'm fine, and you? I'm just great, happy to be here. And tell me, how was your day, mister? <laughs> A good, a good day, a bad day, a regular day. A regular day. A regular day. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Um, tell me, what do you do? What do you do for a living? Uh, you're a traffic agent. A traffic agent. Oh, man, that's hard. Yes. That's pretty hard. I mean, to be on the street all day long with this weather, estar en la calle con este clima, that's terrible. Yes, very, very heavy. Yeah, I know, I know, I can imagine. Yes. Ooh. Well, it's good that you are strong enough to do that. I think I will faint. Yo creo que yo me muero. I will faint, desmayarme. It's just that I cannot stand the heat. The heat is terrible for me. El calor me desespera. Well, Alexis, welcome to the class and thank you. Let's see, let's see, who else do I have here? Miss Ana del Carmen Mejia, Miss, what? Miss Alvarez. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm just great, I'm just great. So tell me, how was your day, Miss? Mm, Worked. Yes. Under say, sales agency. Oh, oh, really? You are a sales? executive that's great that's excellent and tell me did you have a good day a bad day an average day mm. good day a good, good day. day okay look at that smile that smile mm. tells me she made sales Esa sonrisa dice que hubieron ventas. that's cool yes. <laughs> yeah because Just... she says oh a good day <laughs> nice excellent yeah. nice meeting you anna Sorry. Nice meeting you. Un gusto conocerla. Uh, I meet to you. 
<laughs> okay, thank you. Me, more or less. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. This is beginner's one. That's normal. Este es principio okay. de uno. No problem. Okay. okay. Let's okay. see. Let's thank see. You. Who else do I have here? Raquel. Hello, Raquel. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you, miss? Great. Okay. And tell me, what do you do, Raquel? What do you do? ¿Qué hace? What's your occupation? Uh, my occupation is a uh, secretary. Secretary. Yes. Say with me. Repeat with me. Secretary. Secretary. Like that. Perfect. Excellent. Oh, really? You're a secretary. Man, that's... You know what I, what I couldn't do is the typing. That's difficult. Yes. Yeah. The typing is difficult. Welcome to the mm -hmm. class, Raquel. Yeah. Bienvenida. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Oops. You're gone. Where are you? Oh, right there. Hello, yeah. Wendy. How are you? Good evening. Hi, fine. And you? I'm just great, Wendy. And tell me, what do you do, miss? Mm. Very well. <laughs> okay. And tell me, what is your occupation? What do you do? What is your occupation? It's the same. Mm, I am... Uh, a uh, Human... Re resources. Human resources? Oh, you work in human resources? Yes. Oh, that's good. That's good. Excellent. So you talk to a lot of people. Habla con mucha gente. More or less. More or less, yeah. Well, that's good. Nice meeting you and I'm happy to have you here in the class. Gusto conocer. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Carla Veronica, hello. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Um, more or less. More or less, why? Come on. Um, you're tired? Yes. A heavy and day? And yeah, and it, it's hot. It's terrible. And tell me, what do you do, Carla? Um, I am secretary. A secretary? And oh. I work in factory, the toilet paper. Oh, really? Yes. That's nice. That's nice. And tell me, how was your day? A good day, a bad day, an average day. Uh, I checked the report. Okay, you checked reports today? In, in inventory, también. Oh, inventory. Man, inventory. that's difficult. You must be very careful. Hay que ser muy cuidadoso. Yes. <laughs> uh, I understand you, I understand you. Well, nice meeting you, miss. Un gusto conocerte. Let's see. Raúl Moreno. Hello, mister. How are you? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How was your day, mister? Perfect. Oh, really? And what do you do, Raúl? What's your occupation? Perdón. What is your occupation? I am a doctor. You are a doctor? Yes. Excellent. That's nice. That's nice. Wow. That's a heavy career. Eso es pesado. To study and then to practice it. Yes. Okay. Well, nice meeting you, Raul. Okay. And thank you for being here. Nice meeting you. Un gusto conocerle. And welcome to the class. Thank you. Well, Let's see. Luis Mejia, hello, mister. How are you? Hey, how are you? I'm just fine, just fine. How are you? What? ¿Qué tal usted? How are you? Uh, good. Good. Okay, tell me, Luis, what is your occupation? Um, operation system. Oh, really? Wow, that's nice. So you're good with computers? Um, 
uh, es um, algo, algo en, en, en maintenance. Maintenance. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh my gosh, well, that's something very delicate. Es delicado. Very delicate. Yes. Uh, I remember when I was studying a long while ago. Recuerdo cuando yo estudié hace mucho tiempo. I was young at that time. Yo era joven. That you could burn some things just with your finger. Podía quemar unos componentes con el dedo. Yes. And so you must be very, very careful. Nice meeting you, Luis, and welcome to the class. Con gusto y bienvenido. Ok, ok, gracias. Thanks. Ok, let's see. Am I missing someone? Se me olvida alguien. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. Hello, teacher. How are you, miss? How are you, Evelyn? Are you good? What? How? Um, well, well. Ok, and tell me, Evelyn, what is your occupation? ¿Cuál es su ocupación? I am teacher of children. Oh, really? So you teach little kiddos? Chiquitos? Yes. Oh yes. my gosh. What do you teach? Preschool? Uh, let's see, we got preschool, we got a uh, primary. What do you teach? Yes. ¿Qué enseña? Parvularia? Básica? Parvularia, parvularia. Oh, that's preschool. Eight, the babies, the, the five, six, seven. Yeah, that's preschool. Oh man, that's difficult. That's very, very difficult. I mean, for me, it's, uh, I don't think I could do it. Yo no creo poder hacerlo. It's very, very difficult. <laughs> yeah, dealing with little kiddos is difficult. Well, welcome to the class, Evelyn. Teacher, excuse me. Yes, mister. Uh, what is your name? My name is Douglas Arevalo. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So, Alejandra, now, can you hear me now? Let's try again. Good, Good evening, oh. teacher. Good evening. How are you? Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. Tell me, what do you do? <laughs> um, uh, is I am cashier. A cashier? Okay. Cashier. Ooh. With money. Money. Yes. That's, yes. <laughs> that's <laughs> complex. Eso es complicado. Yes. Yeah, because at the end of the day, you gotta start looking for every penny. Yeah, that's not easy, not easy. And <laughs> tell me, how was your day, Alejandra? Uh, what? How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Uh, mm, very um, heavy, difficult. Difficult, sí. Uh, I can imagine, I can imagine. Well, welcome to the class. Okay, thank you. Thanks to you. Okay, guys, let's see. I think nobody's missing. Creo que no me falta nadie, right? Yeah. I'm sorry. That's something that I always do. Perdón, es algo que siempre hago. Uh, I always, in my classes, I have a little conversation right at the beginning of the class and a little bit of conversation, perhaps in the middle or in the end of the class. Y otro ratito conversación al, a la mitad o al final de la clase. Like questions, answers, like a review of the class, como un repaso de clase. Okay? Let me introduce myself. Déjenme presentarme con ustedes. My name is Douglas Arevalo. Uh, I am going to be your substitute teacher, that is maestro sustituto for today, because uh, Mr. Gustavo couldn't be here with you. Se, su maestro regular no puede estar con ustedes, Gustavo, right? But uh, he left me all the information and don't worry, I'm going to be taking care of this course. Pero él me dejó toda la información y no se preocupe, eh, vamos a estar bien. Uh, well, a little bit about myself, un poco acerca de mí. Uh, I'm Douglas Arevalo, as I told you, I'm an English teacher, so I'm a professor of English. I've been teaching English for, uh, what, 21 years now. He's been teaching English for 21 years. 
I started teaching English at, uh, when I was 20, comencé a dar clases a los 20 uh, at Universidad Pedagógica. Then I worked for, the, I have worked for different uh, private and public institutions. He trabajado con algunas instituciones públicas y privadas. I work for a Catholic uh, American community. Trabajé con una comunidad este, católica de norteamericanos for five years. I was working with them teaching and also as a, as a translator. Trabajé con ellos dando clases y también como intérprete. And let me see what else. I worked also for Garcia Flamenco for five years. Trabajé con el Colegio Garcia Flamenco. And I also, I was working also with uh, Universidad Don Bosco. And I've been working for Inglés Corporativo. And actually I've been teaching these specific courses. Y he estado dando estos cursos en específico with INSA for like for three years now, como por tres años. Well, that's me. I'm 41 years old. Tengo 41 años. Okay. And it, they show, they show. Y ya se nota. Let's see. Well, let's start working, guys. Comencemos a trabajar. Let's see. Let's see. According to what your teacher told me, today we are going to work with uh, adjectives. But before anything else, I need to take the attendance. Voy a tomar la asistencia. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Thank you. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Clemente Mancía. Evelyn Marlene González Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Irma Mayela Leiva Garcilaso. Here. Jenny Guadalupe Gómez de Bautista. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Mar Marín. Teacher, tiene, yes. hay un corte de energía. Eh, se, se está por conectar. Ok, perfect, perfect. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Thank you. Carla Verónica yes, Soria yes. López. Present, teacher. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. Present. Thank you. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Norma Yanira Luna Vigil. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Raúl Eduardo Moreno Arevalo. Present, teacher. Here. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Jimmy Adonai Rivera Guillén. Here. Okay, guys. Well, let's start teacher. our class. Yes, mister? Good evening. I'm here. Jonathan Fuentes. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. No problem with the, Perfect. The, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm sorry, guys. Something fell. Ouch. My bad. Well, let's see. Today, we need to work with uh, adjectives. We're going to talk a little bit about positive adjectives and negative adjectives. According to the lesson plan, de acuerdo a un lesson plan que me dejaron por aquí, let me check. Uh, oh my gosh, what happened here? Just a second, guys. Just a little bit. Well, according to something that they left me here, today we are going to be working with adjectives, positive adjectives and negative adjectives. It's very important that we remember what adjectives are. Muy importante que recordemos que son los adjetivos. Adjectives, if you remember, are the words that we use to describe something. El adjetivo es algo que nos ayuda a describir algo. Yes? Like if you see the teacher, you see, oh, the teacher is old. Dicen ustedes, oh, el teacher está viejo. Yeah, I got a lot of white hair. Tengo mucho cabello blanco. The teacher is um, black hair. Well, a little bit white hair. Okay. Los colores are also adjectives. 
okay? Today, it's a hot day. A very hot day. Ahora es un día hot. Hot. Ya no es Okay? This is a nice group. Nice group. That's also an adjective. Nice is an adjective. If I ask you, how are you? Si yo te pregunto, ¿cómo está? You tell me, good, fine, okay. Uh, Alejandra told me, perfect, right? Those are adjectives. Esos son adjetivos. And as I told you, they are used to describe. Y como les mencionaba, se utilizan para describir. Okay? Now, we also use adjectives not just to describe people or situations. We also use the adjectives in order to describe places. También nos utilizamos para describir lugares. Okay? What do you mean by places? Okay, just give me a second. ¿Cómo decimos nosotros para describir lugares? Okay. Let's see who, who cannot get in. Oh. When we want to describe places, there are adjectives that describe a good, a good characteristic of the place. Hay adjetivos que nos sirven para describir algo bueno, una característica buena. And there are also adjectives that are used to describe something bad, something that is not good. Okay. Uh, like, um, imagine that you are talking about your office. Imagínense que están hablando acerca de su oficina. And you say, okay, my office is, in my case, I am a teacher, okay? I teach in a classroom. My classroom is small, but it is fresh. Listen, my classroom, my salon de clases, is small, but it is fresh, pero es fresco. Okay? It's narrow, es estrecho, but it's light, pero está iluminado. So, if you notice, I am saying good characteristics, and I'm also saying bad characteristics. Si se dan cuenta, estoy diciendo características buenas y características no tan buenas. Like I said, that is narrow, but it's light, pero iluminado. I say that it's small, digo que es chico, but it's fresh. I got windows all around. Tengo ventanas a todo alrededor. So that's, that's one of my classrooms. Okay? Ese es uno de mis salones de clases. Now, let's see. Raul, you work as a doctor, right? Okay. Can you tell me how is your consultory? Is it big, is, is small? It, it is small and clean. Clean, yes, clean. Excellent. Clean. Okay, and tell me, what color is it? It is blue. Blue. Okay, blue. perfect. You are describing the place. Excellent. Thank you very much, Raul. Okay, let's see, Karina, you work as an accountant, right? Yes. Can you describe me your workplace, please? Uh, my workplace is fresh and okay. huge. Huge? Yes. <laughs> Tell me, you got air conditioner? Yes. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Yes, yes it is. Okay, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much, Karina. Let's Thank see, you. what about you, Alejandra? Can you describe me your workplace? Is uh, smart and organized. Organized. Excellent, that's a good, good, uh, that's a good adjective for describing a place, organized. Let's see, Jonathan, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine, just fine. Happy to be here. Welcome, Jonathan. Tell me, okay. uh, how's your workplace? Uh, 
It's very good. It, it's in the border, El Poi. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, it's a, a scanner, anti-drogas. Oh, my gosh. Uh -huh. It's very difficult, but the documents are so important. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. I have. I used to have a student who was working there. Yo tenía un alumno que trabajaba ahí. I don't mm -hmm. remember his name right now, but they told me that sometimes you stay there for like for seven days, right? A veces ustedes pasan turnos de siete días, no? No, only four days a week. Four days a week. Yeah, four oh. day working and four day free. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's nice. So that's good. nice. Yeah, because you can rest. Yeah, exactly. Thank you very much, Jonathan. You're welcome. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Vladimir. Hello, Vladimir, how are you? Uh, hello, teacher. Oh, hello, Vladimir, can you describe me your workplace, please? Um, no. Uh, documentally. Okay. Uh, and tell me, is a big office or a small office? Uh, okay. A small yes. office. Oh, it's a small office. You see, guys, thank you very much, Vladimir. If you notice, si nos damos cuenta, some adjectives express something good, some adjectives express something bad. Okay? Like right now, I could tell you that I... Uh, uh, Raúl's lamp is very nice. Yo le puedo decir que la lámpara de Raúl es very nice. I just saw it. Acabo de ver. One that he has on the wall. Una que tiene en su pared. On his right. You see those words? Right. Nice. Those are adjectives. Now, uh, let's see. I'm going to share with you the screen right now so we can check out a little bit of the manual. Vamos a revisar un poquito del manual. Okay. Just let me check on something. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let me just share with you the screen. Déjeme compartir la pantalla. Right here. Perfect. This, no vamos a hacer de esto. Okay, let's see. We have the description, the description of Mr. Paz and Mrs. Aguilar workplaces. Can you guess where they work? Let's see. He says there is a there is a beautiful lobby. There is a beautiful lobby there are comfortable rooms there's a huge parking lot there are three high-tech elevators look a beautiful lobby comfortable rooms huge parking lot high-tech elevators now let's see what Mr. Aguilar says, well, that would be Mrs. There is a narrow reception area. There are two dirty dining rooms. Ooh. There is an ugly photocopy center. There are small offices. Look, narrow, dirty, ugly, small. Those are bad adjectives. Now, let's see. When we have adjectives, as I told you, there are positive adjectives and negative adjectives. Let me make this bigger for you. Positive adjectives. Let's see. We have comfortable rooms, huge parking lot, nice places to rest, illuminated training. Look. There are comfortable rooms. There is a huge parking lot. There are nice places to rest. There is an illuminated training room. These adjectives are positive adjectives. 
Now, we have negative adjectives. There is a narrow reception area. There are small offices. There is a disgusting kitchen area. There is a smelly living room. Oh, with this one, look, smelly means uh, apestoso. A smelly living room. Okay, now let's see. We have now an exercise here. We have small gym, clean cafeterias, unpleasant bathrooms, new training rooms, smart meeting room, and we have tiny cubicle. We are going to do one exercise. Vamos a hacer un pequeño ejercicio. Okay. What is the exercise about? ¿De qué trata esto? It's very simple, guys. Muy simple. I'm going to divide you in small groups. And I need you to make sentences to solve this exercise. Like, how? How so? ¿Cómo así me dirá usted? It's very simple. You are going to tell me, like in number one. Oh, there is a small gym. There are clean, or there are two clean cafeterias. Okay. We are going to solve this exercise. I'm going to give you two minutes. Two minutes is enough for us solving this. About dos minutos. I just sent you the, 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 the image to the group. Por si alguien no tiene el manual a la mano, les envié la imagen al grupo. Okay, you haven't done the exercise yet, right? Todavía no lo habían hecho, ¿sí? No? Okay, let's do it. Two minutes. When we come back, I'm going to pick some of you to tell me the sentences. Cuando regresemos, le voy a, voy a escoger algunos para que me digan las oraciones, okay? So let me just create the groups. And groups are created right now. Two minutes, guys. Please, jump in. Wendy. Hello. Hello, Wendy. Me lo dejaron sola. Yo creo. Ok, Wendy. But can you solve the exercises? Pero puedes resolver los ejercicios. Oh, there's Astrid. She's going to help you. Ella me le ayuda. Hello. Hello. Hola, Astrid. Hola, hola, sí. Vaya, entonces tenemos que resolver las preguntas que nos mandó el grupo, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí, 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 sí. Vaya, ahorita quiero ver. ¿Ya hizo las primeras? No. Eh, donde dice small gym. Uh -huh. Entonces tendría que ser there is Gym is small. There is a small gym. Perfect. There is, there is a small gym. Creo que se llama preposición. preposición. El a -an, ¿verdad? Realmente es, 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 una, es un artículo. A -an. Ah, ah, ok. Eh, veamos. There are a clean cafe, cafeteria. There are. Uh -huh. there. there are is plural. Es es plural. Pero eh, la cafetería está en, 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 en plural. Okay, okay. Then en there plural. are two, three, four. Ah, ok. Number, number, siempre. Yeah. <coughs> ok. 
there are two a clean Hello, Vanessa. They left you alone. Me la abandonaron. I don't hear you. No le escucho. Como teacher? Hola, teacher. Hello. Hello. Are you solving the exercise? Me lo está resolviendo? Uh, yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. Ah, pues la veo luego en la sala principal. I'm going there. Okay. If you want, you can go. Yo voy a ir. Okay, teacher. Start. Nos vemos ahí. Okay, sorry. Okay, okay, let's see. Anna, I see you. Crystal. Anna Cristina or Anna Mejia? Anna Mejia. <laughs> um, soy yo, permítame. Hoy sí. <laughs> Okay, that's better, that's better. Yeah, my neck was like twisted. Oh, I see. Perfect, let's see. Who's gonna be first? Number one, number one, number one. Raul, please tell me number one. There is a small gym. There is a small gym. Perfect, excellent. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Karina, number two. I don't know it is uh, the new training room or the clean cafeteria. I don't know what uh, it's the, new, the new training rooms. Um, there are new training rooms. There are new training rooms, or you can say there are some, algunos, new training rooms, or you can say a number. O puede ser un nombre, un número. There are three new training rooms. Okay, but you did it okay. It's perfect. Let's see. Uh, Raquel. Number, the other two, la otra número dos. Okay. Uh, there are clean cafeterias. There are clean cafeterias. Perfect, thank you very much. Let's see now, 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 now. Alexis, number four. There is a smart meal room. Perfect. There is a smart meeting room. Excellent. Let's see. Let's see. Next one. It's uh, number five. It's going to be four. Number cinco va para uh, Wendy. There is unpleasant bathroom. Okay. If you see, it says bathrooms. It's plural. There are, como es plural, porque es bathrooms. Barrio, okay? There are. Okay. There are. But it could be one or two. Puede ser un número. Well, actually, it could be more than one. Tiene que ser más de uno. It could be. There are two 
unpleasant bathrooms. There are three. There are many. Hay muchos. Okay. Let's see. Thank you very much, Wendy. And the last one is going to be tiny cubicles. It's for Jonathan. Yeah, tell me. Sorry, Jonathan, can you help me with tiny cubicles? Yeah, there is a tiny cubicle. Perfect. Nice pronunciation, Jonathan. Excellent. Thank okay. you. Okay. Before we move on, antes de que continuemos, este. Eh, perdón, voy a hacer una pequeña pausa, le voy a hablar en español. Imagino que ya les habían informado, ¿verdad? Ya les mandaron el mensaje sobre la encuesta. ¿La encuesta de satisfacción? ¿Sí? Yes, oh. sure. Ok, perfecto. Eh, no sé si ustedes, algunos de ustedes ya han tomado cursos antes con Insafor o no lo han. Si ya lo hicieron, bueno, si no lo han hecho, igual les comento, es un requerimiento de Insafor. Nosotros lo vamos a realizar hoy a las 9 p.m. ¿Ok? Vamos a realizar esa asignación y pues eh, necesito saber, ¿todos recibieron el enlace? Yes. El correo? Ok. La vamos a ir haciendo juntos paso a paso. Ok. A las nueve yo voy a hacer una pausa y vamos a comenzar a trabajar con ello. But let's continue with our activities. Pero continuemos con nuestra actividad. Ok, let's see. We will go again to the manual. Nos iremos de nuevo al manual. We have exercise six. This is speaking. Do you remember the little activity we did together? ¿Se recuerda una pequeña actividad que hicimos? Where I, where I was asking you, donde yo les preguntaba. Now, you are going to ask your classmates. Ahora ustedes le van a preguntar a sus compañeros. How? How am I going to do that? ¿Cómo lo voy a hacer? It's very simple. If you go to the manual again, to page number 44, you have exercise six. Your turn. Tell a partner a description of all the areas in your workplace. Take notes about your classmates' description to share later to the class. Okay, this is very important. I need you to please tell your classmates about one or two places from your workplace. Usted me le va a decir a su compañero acerca de uno o dos lugares de su lugar de trabajo. And today, at the end of the class, y ahora, al final de la clase, we are going to see y ahora al final de la clase vamos a tener un momento where you are going to share not yours, donde se me van a compartir la tuya, your classmates information, ok me van a contar sobre el lugar de trabajo de su compañero, not yours your classmates, so you need to take notes do you understand the activity? ¿entendemos la actividad? yes questions? preguntas? yes no? ok, let's do it I'm going to divide you in groups of three members ok, lo dividiré en grupos de tres so remember, you start, you say the name of the place. Usted comienza. We will do it like this, like uh, the principal's office. Se puede poner un ejemplo. Principal's office. That's one location from my workplace. Es uno de los lugares de, de, de uno de los lugares de mi trabajo. Principal's office is small. It's blue and white. It's, uh, it's very hot. And... It's very clean. Simple, you see? Very simple. I don't want a big description. No quiero una descripción grandote. Okay, something simple to the point. Okay, let's do it. Let's see. I'm going to recreate the groups. Vamos a recrear los grupos. Perfect. Groups are created. Let's jump in, guys. You are having exactly four minutes. Tendrán cuatro minutos. Campaign.
well, due to the connection, and so we don't want to lose the connection, we are going to be waiting here. Vamos a estar esperando acá. While the students perform the activity in the breakout rooms. See, they still got three more minutes. And while let's see, we are also going to work with the uh, prepositions of place. Perfect. Debido a que la conexión está un poquito inestable, vamos a esperar acá un momento mientras el grupo trabaja. Ya solamente les queda un minuto y medio. And let's tell them that in 60 seconds. We have the same screen, 60 seconds. Okay, okay, okay. You finish it? Did you finish? Finished. Excellent, excellent. Please remember that at the end of the class, at the end of the class, at the last activity, you are going to tell me about your classmates. At the end of the class, you are going to tell me what you were talking about.
Ok, let's just wait for your classmate. Vamos a esperar por sus compañeros a few seconds because they just got 60 seconds to be here. Ya les avisamos. And they are coming. Sí, almost everybody's here. Casi todos acá. Ok. Vladimir, Evelyn, and Carla Veronica. Perfect. Everybody's back. Todos de vuelta. Okay, let's continue. Well, also, something else that we need. Oh, remember this, the, the, what you got, the information you got, we are going to use it at the end. Acuérdense que la información que tienen la vamos a usar al final. Okay, perfect. And let's continue. Vamos a continuar. Something else that we need to remember Algo más que debemos recordar when we are describing places is that besides the adjectives, aparte, además de, besides, besides the adjectives, we also need adverbs of frequency. I mean, prepositions of place, preposiciones de lugar. And what are those? ¿Y qué son esas? Little words, palabritas, that help us to mark exactly that, the position, the place. Que nos ayudan a nosotros a definir la posición, el lugar. Okay? Like, let's see. I have a bottle here. Tengo una botella acá. The bottle right now, it's on my head. Okay? The bottle is on my head. Now, the bottle is in, dentro, okay? If you see my hand, the bottle is below. Right now, the bottle is in front of. Ahorita está in front of. Right here, the bottle is next to me. Acá está a un lado de mí, right? Those little words are prepositions. And as I told you, they express the position, the place. Expresan eso, la posición, el lugar. Ok. Now, let's see. Uh, let me share a little bit with you. Déjenme compartirles. We go again to the manual. Let's see what's the manual. Look at these images. Vamos a estas imágenes. Look. There's the information, the following information about an employee. We have an employee here. The employee is Mauricio Quintanilla. The office main phone is 72039164. You can say 7203-9164. Okay. Let's see. Workplace, Arrows Technology Company. Address on, on. Roosevelt Street and First Avenue, number 853, Santa Cecilia, Estes. Job position, software designer, department, production, ID MQ108359. Okay, now, what was, why was I showing you that? ¿Por qué les mencionaba esto? Look at the prepositions of place. Where is? Where is the park located? It is located among, entre, many places. 
Now, look at this word, among and between. Then of these palabras, among and between. I'm going to make a pause right now. Vamos a hacer una pequeña pausa. Okay? Uh, we are going to start, vamos a comenzar, with the process of the, perdón, voy a cambiar a español, vamos a comenzar ya con el proceso de el llenado de la encuesta. Nos acompañan acá de soporte técnico por si tuviésemos alguna dificultad. Eh, veamos, chicos, a ver, acá tengo ya preparado. Les voy a compartir la información. Vamos a irlo haciendo pasito a pasito, todos juntos, ¿ok? Así que tranquilos que lo vamos a resolver con calma. La idea es que nos quede bien porque Insafor no nos permite errores. Así que paciencia. Lo vamos a hacer despacio, vamos a hacer bien. No va a salir bien, no se preocupen, lo hemos hecho muchas veces. Así que ustedes tranquilos. Yo les ayudo y igual, si tenemos alguna dificultad, algo que yo no sepa, este, Flor nos acompaña y ella nos ayuda. Let's see. Les comparto en este momento. Esta información fue lo que ustedes recibieron este día. Decía eh, la encuesta de satisfacción, que se adjunta este mensaje, la cual se llenará en conjunto con su facilitador durante la última sesión. Esto es importante, mire. Recuerde que es requisito llenar esta encuesta según lineamientos de INSAFOR, aunque usted no continúe con el siguiente módulo del programa. ¿Ok? Solicitamos de favor que al terminar de llenar la encuesta nos envíe una captura de pantalla de que completó la misma. Ahí está el número o al grupo de WhatsApp. En este caso, si lo podemos hacer al grupo, sería mucho mejor. Así yo puedo llevar el seguimiento. ¿Ok? Y vamos a colocar el nombre completo al enviarla. No se preocupen, ya les voy a mostrar cómo, cómo debe de ir ahí. ¿Ok? Es más, lo tengo por acá. Listo, un ejemplo. Vamos a ver este ejemplo que tengo. Si ustedes se fijan, tengo acá una encuesta. ¿Qué vamos a hacer nosotros? A este ejemplito que tengo aquí, nosotros, cuando me toman la captura de pantalla y me la envían, ¿verdad que cuando enviamos una imagen tiene la oportunidad uno de poner texto? Entonces, acá abajo... En el texto, en ese espacio que tiene, nosotros le vamos a poner nuestro nombre. Nombre completo, nombre y apellido, ¿ok? Por favor, les voy a agradecer. Luego, los datos como el nombre, email, número de celular y nombre de su empresa. En esto es necesario, tal cual como Insafor los tiene registrado. Esa información la tiene usted en su correo electrónico. Los datos generales del curso son orden de inicio, nombre del proveedor, nombre del curso, la fecha de inicio, la fecha en que finalizó. Yo les recomendaría en la medida de lo posible que hagamos esto, que nosotros sombriemos, copiamos, ¿ok? ¿Por qué? Porque así cuando nosotros llegamos acá, esta es la encuesta que ustedes van a llenar, como pueden ver, decimos nosotros, ingresa el número completo de la orden de inicio, es más fácil si yo vengo y solamente pego. ¿Por qué? Porque pequeñas cositas como el, el, la pleca, el guión, tienen que ir tal y cual aparece. ¿Ok? Tal y cual las tiene usted en el correo. Exactamente igual. Nombre completo, pues cada quien escribe su nombre, el correo electrónico, el correo que tiene registrado en Insta. Les hago esta aclaración, vaya, porque por ejemplo, yo, yo por ejemplo tengo cinco correos distintos, dependiendo de mi trabajo. Entonces usted va a poner el que tiene registrado en Insafor. ¿Dónde está esa información? Se la enviaron a ustedes. Luego el número de celular, de nuevo, el que está ahí registrado. Sexo, femenino, masculino, departamento de residencia, municipio de residencia. Todos estos campos, como usted los ve que están acá con asterisco, todos son obligatorios. Nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó. En este caso, usted va a buscar acá y va a simplemente a seleccionar inglés corporativo Regal International. Nombre del curso. Uy, me dice usted, ¿cuál es el nombre del curso? Bueno, pues el nombre del curso, el que veíamos nosotros que teníamos en la imagen, ¿verdad? Eh, luego vienen ya los aspectos relativos al curso. Ya esto ya es más específico, ¿sí? Y aquí ya es más específico cuando hablamos de los aspectos relativos al curso. ¿Hasta ahí cómo vamos? ¿Voy demasiado rápido? Si voy corriendo, dígame. Yo regreso. No, está bien, teacher. Ok, ok. Entonces, 
vuelvo a compartirles para que sigamos viendo el proceso. Ahorita no estamos llenando, ¿verdad? Solamente estamos revisando. Luego usted viene los valores relativos al curso. Acá usted va a marcar. Esto ya es personal. La fecha de inicio, nuevamente, nos vamos nosotros al correíto. Ahí está la fecha de inicio. Si tenemos duda, yo les ayudo. Esa la tengo yo. La fecha en que finalizó el curso, igual. El nivel. Sí, sí. Dígame. Um, este es el correo que enviaron ahora. Sí, o creo... el que mandaron al grupo. No, no, no. En el grupo nos pusieron a nosotros el enlace. Pero hubo un correo donde le mandaron específicamente a usted con su información. Ese lo mandaron hace como cinco días, seis días lo mandaron. Ok, ese correo ustedes uh -huh. lo recibieron, ese tiene exactamente su información. Lo que ustedes recibieron este día fue el enlace. Luego lo mandó a... Jimmy Martínez, perdón que lo interrumpa, Jimmy Martínez, no, no, no. Decía el correo. Excelente, muchas okay. gracias. Ahorita lo voy a buscar. Sí, es lo mejor, es lo mejor. Así vamos conscientes de que es la información tal cual la tenemos. Luego la, el nivel de satisfacción, usted le pone satisfecho, insatisfecho, los cursos de interés, comentarios. ¿Alguna pregunta con esto? Oh, importante, empresa donde trabaja, acá con la empresa donde usted trabaja. En ese caso es la, eh, si no me equivoco y Flor me corregirá, tiene que ser exactamente la razón social, ¿ok? Como está registrada. Como la registramos cuando nosotros mandamos los documentos para Insafor, así aparece. Les aclaro eso porque a veces la empresa tiene un nombre, pero la razón social es otra, ¿ok? Nosotros somos inglés corporativo. Nuestra razón social es Regal International SADCB. ¿Ok? Es Teacher, tengo una pregunta. Dígame. Eh, un compañero eh, me pidió el link de la, de la encuesta pero yo se la compartí de la que me enviaron a mi correo. Esa es universal, ¿verdad? El, de la encuesta, la el enlace, sí. Sí, el enlace, okay. sí. Solo eso quería no. saber, porque de datos... ahí la información se la envían al correo. Uno, correo. Exacto, sí. Los datos que nos enviaron a nosotros son datos nuestros, fecha de inicio, orden de inicio, esos son propiamente nuestros. Vaya, okay. les recuerdo, Thank you. cuando ustedes, y vuelvo ya lo último, ya lo último, ya lo voy a dejar trabajar. Le recuerdo, cuando nosotros hemos terminado, cuando usted le dé enviar, a usted le va a generar aquella imagen que yo les mostré. Y vuelvo a ella. Vuelvo a ella para que estemos claros. Cuando usted ya le haya dado enviar, a usted le va a aparecer la imagen esta que nos dice donde nos dice gracias. Y usted no se me vaya a salir porque a esta es la que yo necesito que usted me le tome la captura de pantalla y me le ponga su nombre completo. ¿Ok? No me vaya a poner el nombre en otro mensaje. Ahí mismo. Recordemos que se puede. Y sabemos de que la captura de pantalla es algo fácil. Hacemos dos botoncitos, ¿verdad? Si estamos en computadora todavía más fácil. Es el print screen o en algunos sí. Print screen nos aparece. Vaya. ¿Alguna duda antes de comenzar? No, vaya, entonces nos vamos a meter ahorita a la encuesta. Cualquier duda en el proceso, yo estoy acá. Si algo no están seguros, me preguntan y con gusto les apoyamos. Comencemos, por favor. Um, yo sí tengo una duda, teacher. Uh, ¿Cuál es el, el número que se va a copiar del correo para pegarlo ahí? A ver, veamos. El número, perdón. ¿Qué mencionó? Es, es la orden de inicio la que oh, aparece ahí. Ok, ok, la orden de inicio. Vaya, veamos. La orden de inicio. Ahorita se la muestro. Solo regáleme un segundo. Cierro acá. Cierro acá. 
para poderles compartir. Uh, permítame, Ana Cristina. Quito. Eh, necesito reportar algo. Veamos, todavía tengo por acá. Sí, cloro. Cloro le estoy escribiendo al chat. De Zoom. Recordemos la fecha de inicio, lunes 12 de abril del 2021. Y fecha de finalización, el 11 de mayo, la fecha de ahora. Ok, les vuelvo a compartir. Por si tenemos alguna duda. Recuerden si acá tenemos la orden de inicio. El nombre del curso igual, importante, importante. Les recomiendo por favor copiarlo y pegarlo porque es inglés principiante módulo 1 con todas las comillas. Tal cual y les aparece ahí. Veamos, Alexis Antonio Sandoval. Gracias, perfecto. Así como lo hizo el compañero, es como lo necesitamos, chicos. más les compartiré lo que el compañero ya finalizó para que lo puedan ver ustedes cómo será al final. Vean, respuesta de satisfacción, ahí aparece gracias y el nombre. Te recuerdo chicos, hacerlo tranquilos, calma porque si tenemos un pequeño errorcito, Ahí sí nos van a disculpar y por eso les digo que lo hagamos tranquilamente. Si alguna de la información va mala, lo vamos a estar molestando. Y sé de que va a ser un poquito incómodo. Yo sé que todos tienen sus obligaciones a lo largo del día, pero sí es un requerimiento. Y sin este requerimiento tampoco aprobamos. Así que hagámoslo con calma, hagámoslo bien. Les repito, lo mejor copiar, pegar, copiar, pegar. <tose> Teacher, ¿Sí? eh, es necesario responder la número 15 y 16. Número 15 y 16. Eh, sí, no eh, que dice, mencione que otros cursos son de su interés y comentarios. Pues en los cursos de su interés eh, puede ser Excel, por ejemplo, eh, en Zaporta diferentes tipos de cursos. Hay cursos de diseño. Si usted le 
si se necesita. En este caso es un aspecto, si no tiene asterisco, recuérdese, no es mandatory, no es uh, uh, obligatorio. Y comentarios, pues si usted no quiere dejar un comentario, siempre son bien recibidos. Siempre cuando diga cositas buenas, ¿verdad? No, no, no. Son comentarios, pero ahí están libres ustedes de hacerlos. Si ustedes consideran algo de, digno de mención. Ok, gracias. ¿Cómo no? Vamos a ver cuántos tengo. Okay, al final yo debería tener... 14, tengo 2, yupi, ya solo me faltan 12. Um, teacher, en la número 9 dice el nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó. El nombre del proveedor. Ok, el nombre del proveedor, inglés corporativo, Regal International, ah. SADCB. Ese somos nosotros. Ok. ¿Y dónde dice el nombre del curso? El nombre del curso, como les mencionaba hace un instante. Eh... Tengo un problema porque es, estoy en la clase en el mismo teléfono. Ok. <risa> Abre comillas, todo mayúsculas, inglés, principiante, módulo 1. Cerramos comillas. Ok. Todo mayúsculas, entre comillas, inglés, principiante, Módulo 1. Como dijo teacher, disculpe, hablo comillas, todo en, todo en mayúsculas. Inglés, Inglés. principiante, módulo. Todo mayúsculo tiene que ir. Todo mayúsculas. Inglés, principiante, módulo 1. Y cerramos comillas. Uh. Me, me lo regresa a... A minúscula. No. Es raro. Inglés principiante. Principiante. Módulo. Uno. Uno. Ok. Ah, bueno, te lo La fecha. Sí, dígame. Ajá. La fecha que inició fue el 12, ¿verdad? Iniciamos 12 de abril de 2021. Ajá. 12 de abril. ¿Y la fecha de ahora? Fecha de en que finalizó el curso, 11 de mayo del 2021. Ajá. La primera, si no la puedo responder, se deja de ¿Cuál, cuál, 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 cuál? ¿Inglés es el número completo de la orden de inicio? No le escucho, disculpe. El número uno. El número completo de la orden de inicio. Vaya, el número. Eh, lo tiene en el correo, ¿verdad? También nos aparece en el mensaje que nos mandaron de WhatsApp. Lo podemos copiar desde ahí. No, no puedo hacer eso. No sé cómo uh, solo mantenemos presionado. 
para copiar en el mensaje de WhatsApp, usted lo que hace es, se va al mensaje. Se va al mensaje, lo abre y donde dice orden de inicio. Uy, no, no, no me permite desde el, aquí, quiero ver. Usted está con el teléfono. Teléfono. Igual vale. yo. Veamos, veamos, veamos. Vamos a hacer algo. Eso está en el... Ay, no, me va a salir. Porque también está en el correo. Y también está acá en el chat. Es el... Eh, donde podemos? aparece el G1, ¿no? ¿sí? ¿sí? No. Ahí se, ahí se los acabo de compartir en el grupo. Solo la información okay. que piden. Gracias, porque sí, precisamente. Ah, ok. Eso les iba a hacer yo. Este... Uy, pero lo copia todo. Vaya. <risa> Ahí ver. está, mire. Se los acabo de okay. poner en el grupo. Ok. Uh... A ese creo que es más fácil, ¿verdad? Ok, copiado. Pegar. Quiero una consulta, la, la número 15 y la número 16. Si queremos no... Si no tiene ningún curso, pero si hay alguno que le interese, acuérdense que esa información que le sirve a ellos para seguir ofertando cursos. Ok. ¿Qué opción? ¿Cuántos de ustedes tengo ya? Ah, tengo. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Ahí ustedes me han compartido. Thank you, Carla. Siete ya. Um, la screenshot es eh, donde dice gracias, las respuestas se han enviado. Exacto, esa. Ok. Luis Roberto, excelente, perfecto. Thank you, mister. Ok. María Elena, thank you. Welcome. Let's see, that makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. I got nine out of fourteen uh, right now. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to give you a couple of more minutes. Just a couple of minutes more. I know that all of you are almost finishing. Perfect, Anna and Carmen. Thank you very much. And I'm just missing four. Solamente me faltan cuatro. Le menciono de quienes he recibido. Ana del Carmen Mejía de Álvarez, María Elena Romero de Galvez, Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez, Carla Verónica Suria, Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba, Raúl Eduardo Moreno, Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín, Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía, Wendy Xiomara Núñez en Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales.
hey, Carla Veronica is back. All is well. Vamos, chicos, algún problemita? Thank you, Ana Cristina. Excellent. That just makes three. Solamente nos faltarían tres. Let's see, guys. Ok, este. Yes, Astrid. Aquí dice, aquí dice enviar. Vaya, le doy enviar. Sí, le aparece la imagen de gracias. La respuesta se ha enviado. A esa pantallita ah. necesito que me le tome una captura. Ah, ok, es que me hace falta. Me dice que debo, que, debo de completar la número uno. Antes oh, de la orden de enviar. inicio. Sí, es importante. La orden de inicio se la hemos compartido también aquí, sí, sí, acá sí, sí, en el grupo. Disculpe que me volví a salir todo, se me borró, se me eliminó, pero ya casi la voy llenando la número 10. No me, ah. me dijo en mayúscula, entre comillas. Ah, el nombre del curso, me pregunta usted. Sí. Vale, el nombre <risa> del curso es. Ups, perdón. Ya, ahorita, ahorita le ayudo. Entre comillas, todo mayúscula, inglés principiante, módulo 1. Inglés principiante, módulo 1. Inglés principiante, módulo 1. Inglés principiante, módulo 1. ¿Yes, Vladimir? Eh, la 15 y la 16 son obligatorias. Como les mencionaba, es por si hay algún curso de interés. Recuérdense que esa información le sirve a Insafor para seguir ofertando cursos. Usted ahí puede poner si un, grupo, un curso de Excel, algo de informática. Esos no son obligatorios, pero siempre es información que, que ayuda. Ok. Ah, este, los compañeros, parece que escuché que dijeron que lo estaban haciendo desde el mismo teléfono, ¿verdad? Eh, yo también lo estoy haciendo así. Lo que hice fue copiar la información en, en un blog de notas para poderlo copiar después y pegar sin que se le vuelva a reiniciar la información aún. Sí, también esa nos es bastante efectivo. Thank you, Vladimir. Bueno, creo que ya solamente me faltan un par de ustedes. Si alguno de ustedes tiene algún problemita, no se preocupen. Este... Me escriben ahí por chat privado y yo les indico cómo vamos a resolverlo. Eh, hasta este momento recibido, déjenme ver. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once. Quiere decir que solamente me faltarían de acuerdo a lo que tengo acá. Tres más. Oh, Astrid, thank you. Entonces, muy bien. Ok, guys, before anything else, eh, necesito tomar la asistencia nuevamente. Please say present when you are, when you listen to your name. Just let me load up the screen where I have the attendance in a second. Teacher, una consulta. Yes, miss, tell me. Eh, ya estoy a punto de darle enviar. Eh... ¿A dónde es que tenemos que poner como nuestro nombre o solamente llenamos lo del encuesta y, y, y le mandamos la captura? Ok, cuando le da usted enviar, le aparece Ajá. la imagen que dice, gracias, la respuesta se ha enviado. Sí, solamente a esa, eso. A esa tome la captura y me le pone su nombre cuando me envíe la imagen. Ok, gracias. ¿Cómo no? Okay, let's see, guys. Oh, I was telling you that I was going to get the attendance. I'm going to do it right now. Let's see. Today is the 11th. Uh, Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Say present. 
Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present. Ana Present Carmen, teacher. Ana de Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Present teacher. Edwin Antonio Clemente Mancía. Evelyn Marlene González Quintanilla. Present teacher, ya lo llené. Thank you, excellent, thank you very much. Envía la imagen. Hay uno que ponerle el nombre iba, pero escribió otro. Ok, pero puede reenviármela poniéndole el nombre. Ok, Irma Mayela Leiva Garcilaso. Jenny Guadalupe Gómez de Bautista, absent. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Present. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. I hear. Merín, María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Norma Yanira Luna Vigil. Absent. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present teacher. Raúl Eduardo Moreno Arevalo. Present teacher. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. And Jimmy Adonai Rivera Guillén. Absent. Ok, perfect. Let's continue. Thank you very much. Les agradezco mucho. Yo sé de que esto es un poquito... Perdón, un poquito tedioso, pero es un requerimiento. Insafor lo pide. Ok. Y no se preocupen, solo esta primera vez lo van a sentir lento. Ya los próximos cursos que tomen, it's going to be fast. Because you already know how to. Es la primera vez la que es un poquito así, complicadito. Ok, let's continue with our activity. I was sharing with you, yo les estaba compartiendo a ustedes, the prepositions of place. Ok, and I was telling you about among and between. Do you remember? Among and between. What's the difference? Ok, with among and between, the problem is not the English. The problem is the Spanish. Ok. Realmente, among means en medio de. And between means entre. The problem is that sometimes in Spanish, we use, nosotros a veces en español utilizamos mal, entre. Like, look here. The red pen, el bolígrafo rojo, is between the blue ones. Está entre los azules. Ok. Now, the red pen sigue estando, ¿verdad? El rojo sigue estando ahí. But now it is among. Pero ahora está among. En medio de. Among means en medio de. Más de dos. En grupo. Ok. Between means just two. You see? Between means significa entre. Entre lo utilizamos cuando nos referimos solamente a en medio de dos. Ok. Are we clear with that? ¿Estamos claros con ella? Ok, perfect. Let's continue with the rest. Continuamos con el resto. Now we have here in front of. Where is the mall located? It's located near the restaurant. Near. Cerca de. That's near. Then we have, uh, luego tenemos, past. Where is the church? It's located past the school. Al pasar de, o pasando. For us it would be something like, uh, después de. Okay? We have along, a lo largo, o en el camino. In front of, well we know that it's in front. Behind, atrás de, o detrás. Next to, al lado de, between, we already know between, across, al cruzar, o cruzando, 
past. I already explained it to you here. What is the chart? It's located past the school. It's after, después de. And under is abajo de. Now we have here some sentences. Okay, we have the score palace is, and we have here the bank. But we are not going to do that exercise. Okay. Let's see. Do you remember that you were sharing some information? ¿Se recuerdan que estaban compartiendo una información? Let's see. Jonathan, please tell me. Tell me about your classmates. Uh, tell me about one of your classmates in workplace. Cuéntete acerca del trabajo de unos compañeros. Okay. My classmates are Karina and Anas. Um, Karina's Karina's office is big and hot. There is green and white. The office is fresh and huge. Anna's office is clean and small. Okay. That's all. Perfect. Excellent. Very well done, Jonathan. Now let's see, let's see, let's see who else. Karina, tell me about Jonathan. Jonathan's office is a tiny cubicle with two computers and it is very fresh. Okay, and it is very fresh. That's it? Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Alejandra, tell me about Alexis. When the office is and is battery is cool, very cool, and color is bright. Okay, perfect. Alexi, just that, just that, office. just that, just that. Just okay. Say, yes, say. So, Wendy can help me with Alexis. I see Wendy, me ayuda con Alexis. Please, Wendy, tell me about Alexis. His office is small. Okay. Very comfort is. It is cool. Very comfortable. Cold, fresco. Okay, fresh, fresh. And fresh. Thank you. And let's see, let's see. ¿Qué me falta este grupo? There was Alejandra, Alexis, and Wendy. Alexis. Yes. Yes, Alexis. Tell me about uh, Alejandra. Alejandra. Alejandra's office is big. Uh, there are a lot of people and it's very cool. Okay, perfect. Very well. Excellent. Very much. Let's see. Ana Cristina, tell me about Astrid. Astrid's office or Astrid's workplace. Hey. The Astrid, there is a small closet. Okay. The big window, there is green door, green and clean. Okay, excellent, very well. That was uh, Astrid. Astrid, tell me about Louis. Louis, Louis office yes and is big okay and has more more equipment 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 has modern equipment perfect modern equipment excellent Louis please tell me about uh, Christina Yeah, Luis is up. I just saw it. Okay, okay, let's see. Luis is going to be later. Maria Romero, tell me about Raquel. Raquel office is very cold and clean. Raquel's office is very cold and clean. Perfect. Raquel, tell me about Raul. Uh, 
Uh, Raúl, uh, the office is small. Yes. With blue color and clean. Perfect. Now, Raúl, please tell me about uh, Maria. Maria's office uh, is comfort comfortable, clean, and illuminated. Okay, perfect. Excellent, excellent. Yes, Luis, you are missing. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Um, um, me tocó Ana Cristina. Yes, please tell me about Ana Cristina. My work is shopping center. Okay. Her there is a small. There is a small. Okay. The two person is clean and fresh. Uh, um, uh, me tocó Astrid Tatiana. Oh, it's okay. Just with uh, just with Cristina. That was the one I wanted. Okay. Cristina de okay. Now let's see. Maria Romero, where are you? Here, yes. Maria, tell me about Rachel Judith, please. Uh, Raquel office. Raquel office is very cold and clean. And he he go to archive department that is huge and illuminator. Okay. Archivo. Uh -huh. Filing. How do you how do you say? Filing department. Can you repeat, please? I texted it to you in the chat. In the Zoom chat. Okay. So okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay, just give me a Teacher. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just that I was solving something. Let's continue. Let's see, let's see. Now you can hear me, right? Ahora se me escucha. Perfect, let's Oh yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Thank you, thank you guys. Now. Okay. We are going to continue working, having a small conversation using there is and there are. Okay? And I need you to please pay attention to what I'm going to do. Okay. I was telling you first, let me see at the initio, how my workplace is. I, I told you that my classroom is narrow, that my classroom is illuminated, that my classroom is fresh, or that my workplace is hot. But also, do you remember, do you also remember that you were working also with there is and there are? También trabajamos con there is and there are, right? ¿Sí lo recordamos? And there is and there are, if you remember, they actually mean exactly the same. Realmente significan lo mismo. There is and there are, they mean the same. For us in Spanish, the meaning is I. They actually express the presence of something. Se refieren a la presencia de algo. Okay? Like I said, oh, there is a mirror behind Raúl. There is a mirror behind Raúl. Hay un espejo atrás de Raúl. Actually, there are two. Realmente hay dos. Did you listen to what I said? In the beginning, I said, oh, there is a mirror. There is. I think singular. But then I noticed, pero luego me di cuenta, oh, actually, realmente, there are two mirrors. 
eye, nuevamente, to mirrors. So the only difference between there is and there are is that there is is singular and there are is plural, right? Now, let's see here what I am. Where I am, there are two fans. There are, uh, well, no, right now there's just one computer. Usually there are two or three computers here. Right now there's just one computer. Uh, there are many books. I got like a hundred books right there. There are many books right there. There are, there is one mirror, there is one lamp, there are windows, hay ventanas, okay? That's the place where I am right now. Ese es el lugar en el que yo estoy en este momento. Now, uh, let's see. Karina, you are going to be my volunteer. Okay. I'll give you the opportunity. You are going to choose. Usted escoge. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you going to describe your workplace or your room? Or el habitación donde está? Mm, my room. Okay, tell me. There is and there are. That's what I want to hear. Um, there are two windows. Um, there is a... I don't know, how do you say pintura? Uh, is it a portrait, a painting? A um, painting. Good, yeah, yes. a painting. Um, there is a painting. Um, there is a refrigerator. Um, there are seats, chairs. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. There are, there is a table. Okay, perfect. Excellent, excellent. Now let's see, Alexis, your turn. What are you going to describe, your workplace or your room? Room. Okay, tell me. Um, there is a window and there are many paintings. Okay. There is a door. Excellent. That's it. Finished. Perfect, thank you. Excellent, concise, muy conciso. Great, great. Now let's see. I see that Alejandra is looking everywhere. Alejandra, lo tengo viendo para todos lados. Alejandra, tell me. Describe to me, please. Um, there is a, a door. And okay. There are uh, pencils. Okay, pencils, pencils. Pencils, pencils. And there is a TV. Okay, perfect. Um, they are is um. Well, I I can see there is a girl behind you. Puedo ver que hay una chica atrás de usted. Um, photo. Well, no, actually, I just saw a girl passing by. Acabo de ver una chiquilla pasando detrás de usted. My son. <laughs> oh, it's your son. Okay, there is one yes. kid, just one? Solo uno? Yes. There yes. is one kid. One kid. Uno. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much, Alejandra. Thank you. Let's see, Ana del Carmen, tell me. What place? Okay, perfect. Uh, there are three computers okay uh, there are three desks three beds. Uh, there is a pencil okay uh, there is a agent agent okay. agenda okay perfect yes that's it <laughs> perfect excellent excellent Let's see who's been quiet. Can I say okay? Luis, please tell me, Luis. Maria, you are next. Okay. Okay. Um, this is a, a bedroom. Okay. Um, there is a, two windows. Okay. Uh, one the door. One door. There is one door. Excellent. There is a TV computer. Okay. 
Um, there is a bed, Luis. You told me it's a bedroom. There is a, there is oh, a bed. Oh, yeah, you were forgetting the most important. Te lo olvidaba la más importante. In the bedroom, <laughs> the bed. Okay, let's see. Maria, your turn. Carla, you are next. Carla Veronica. Uh, in my workplace, uh, there is a computer, a print. There are pencil, pens, paper, markers. Okay. Many <laughs> things. Share. Yeah, Many I, things. Yeah, yeah, I know what right. the school is like. I know what the <laughs> classroom is like. Thank you very much, Maria. Yeah. Uh, Carla, please. <laughs> Okay, uh, my, my, my rooms. Okay, excellent. Okay, um, there is a window, um, there is a TV, and there are two closets. Okay, perfect. Uh, there is a, a bed. There is a bed. And there is a baby. There is a baby. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Let's see. Thank you very much, Carla. Hey, where did Jonathan go? Casanito Jonathan. He was next. Uyo. El siguiente. Anyway, let's see. Uh, Raúl, your turn. Uh, my, my room. Uh, there are windows. Okay. There is TV. There is a bell. Perfect. There are lamps. Lamparas. Excellent. Finish. <laughs> there are two mirrors. I don't have pejos. Okay. There are mirrors. Okay. And that's actually, that's a closet right behind you. Look at some closet, right? Yes. Okay, guys. Do you know how to say? ¿Saben cómo le llamamos al gavetero? No. Come on, come on. Do you know, guys? Does anybody know? That's a dresser. A dresser. Okay. Dresser. Okay, let's see. Hey, Vladimir, you haven't participated, right? Okay. Uh, Please. Uh, my room. Yes. Uh, they are uh, closet. There, there is a window and TV. Excellent. Very well done. Hey, Jonathan, where are you? Okay. Um, there is my my living room. How do you say sala? Living room. Room, verdad? Right? Yeah, living that, room. That's uh -huh. a big living room, my friend. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there is a motorcycle. Um, how do you say sofa? A sofa. Sofa and TV and it's color blue. Okay. Or oh, oh how, how do you say Celeste? Light blue? Light blue. Okay. Okay. Jonathan, I got a question for you. Do you know yeah. how do you call what's another way to call those sofas that are just for two persons? ¿Sabe cuál es otra manera de llamar esos sofás que solo son para dos personas? No. Okay. It's a romantic name. Tiene un nombre. <laughs> yeah, they are they do. It's a love seat. Really? Yeah, it's a love seat. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's because if you sit there with your with your spouse, with your wife or something you got like this 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 or this the smaller one the most chico okay this is more yeah this is the most small okay perfect let's see who's next can see you can see you. who's missing who's missing who's missing Evelyn, ah, oh, Evelyn was like not looking at me. No me estaba viendo. Hi, hi, teacher. Tell hi. me, Evelyn. Hello. Um, um, my bathroom, bathroom. Okay. Um, there, there is a door. There is a there, there, television. Television. There is a, 
I'm sorry. Pizarra. Oh, a board. Pizarra. Board. Board. There is a board. A closet. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much, Evelyn. Let's see, Ana Cristina, you haven't yet? The bedroom. Okay, the bedroom. There is a window. Okay, there is a window. There is a chair and desk. Okay. There is bed. Okay. There are pictures the children. Okay, pictures. Uh, there is other pictures. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Now, guys, I, I have been listening to something, but I'm sure that perhaps your teacher already mentioned. Estoy seguro que quizá su maestro ya se los mencionó. But I'm going to reinforce with you. It's something about the pronunciation. Es algo con la pronunciación. That I've been listening with some of you, and I want to get you, like, clear. Quiero que la recuerden. Let's see. We are going to use the board. Okay. Okay. We got the door. And we got. Now, what I want you to notice is this. Okay. Lo que quiero que nos fijemos es esto. When, when we have. I'm sorry. When we have this, this word, this word right here, cuando tenemos esta palabrita, el artículo da, you know that it means el o la, before a consonant, the sound is the or da. El sonido es the or da, the door or the door, okay? When we have it, before a vowel, cuando lo tenemos antes de una vocal, the sound is D. So in this case is the door, and in this case is the apple. Okay, listen again, the door, the apple. Okay, I'm just making that clear because I've been listening to you and I heard that little detail. Perdonen que se los mencioné, pero he estado escuchando un poquito de, 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 de errorcito en la pronunciación. And it's better if we fix it right now. Es mejor si lo arreglamos desde el inicio, ¿no? This is beginners. That's why we are here. Estamos acá. So don't worry if you make mistakes. No se preocupen si cometen errores. It's beginners. That's what beginners is for, to make many mistakes. Para eso está el beginners, para que nos equivoquemos o lo que podamos. And the idea is for us to help you. Now, let's see. We were describing places. Then we describe the, the objects that are in a place. Now, what about the person? Okay. What about the person? Think about this. I'm going to ask you, I'm going to pick three of you. Okay, al azar. To describe one person. How are you going to make that description? Very simple. ¿Cómo no la descripción? Very simple. Like, uh, I'm going to describe my son. Voy a describirles a mi hijo. My son is uh, Yasha. He is 18 years old. He is um, average height. Estatura mediana. He is 170. He is fit. Está en forma. And he's uh, a little bit serious. And he's friendly. Y amigable. Now, let's see. My volunteer is going to be Jonathan. Please, Jonathan, describe me. Somebody. You are the I volunteer. Mean, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> what is the question? Please, describe somebody. One person. Uh, my mother. Okay, please describe me your mother. What's her name? Uh, her name is Marita. Okay, tell Marita me what's, what's she's like. Como es ella? 
Um, it, it's white skin. Okay, perfect. Uh, and he ha and she mm -hmm. has um how do you say ojos claro? Light eyes. Okay, light eyes. Um, um hair do hair black hair. Okay. Um is it's it's very tall. Tall, um, tall is like this. Short is like this. No, it's it's very tall. It's it's, it's alta. Oh really? That's cool. Uh huh. Um, only this. That's only this. that's enough. Perfect. Vanessa, describe me your son, please. Describe me su hijo. Alejandra Vanessa. Hello, teacher. Can you describe your son for me, please? Uh, my son is beautiful and okay. um, is um, and is a piel um, light, dark, piel blanca. Sure. You can say white light skin dark. or light skin. No? See my my son and when I think it is two years old. He is two years old. Years old and hair is brown brown hair. Okay, hair hair. Hair. Perfect. Thank you very much, Alejandra. Let's see, Alexis. Can you describe somebody for me? Describe me, alguien, Alexis. Uh, my mother. Okay, perfect. Uh, my mother has uh, a 40 year old. Okay, she is, she is 40 years old. Okay. Acuérdese, cuando decimos la edad en inglés, decimos is, no has. Okay, she is 40 years old. 40. Ah, uh, 40. 40. Yes. Okay, perfect. Continue, please. And my mother she is uh, a color ace. Uh, what color are her eyes? Brown. Okay, you can say it like this. Her eyes are brown. Look at the chat. Her eyes are brown. Okay. Thank you very much, Alexis. Now let's see, I still got time for one more. Todavía tenemos tiempo. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Wendy, please describe someone to me. Describe me alguien. Am I son? Okay, excellent. Mm, my son, he, his name, Josué. Okay. How old is your son, Wendy? 18. 18 years old. 18 years old. Okay. Tell me, is he mm. tall or short? It's tall. Okay. It's what tall. color is his skin? White. Okay. And his complexion? Uh, skinny is... Oh, he's thin. There you go. Uh -huh. Delgado, okay. Mm. only men. <laughs> okay, perfect. Karina, your turn. Okay, um, I'm going to describe my brother. Okay. Um, he is 13 years old. He, he has brown, sorry, uh, dark eyes and um, um, white skin. Okay, perfect. Um, he is tall and intelligent and handsome, and okay. he, <laughs> yes, yeah. um, he, um, he is polite. Okay, good. He's um, polite. What about his hair? Tell me. Is his straight, hair is curly 
Uh, it's short. Okay. And it's, but it's yes. straight. It's cabello liso. Straight. Um, I Curly. guess it's straight. <laughs> Curly. Color it's straight. Way be straight. Ondulado. Okay. Straight. Straight hair. Okay. Straight. Perfect, Karina. Yeah. Excellent. Well, guys, uh, the time has come. Miren que rápido se nos fue el tiempo. The time has come and it's been a pleasure for me. Ha sido un placer para mí que me hayan acompañado esta noche y haber podido estar con ustedes. Nice meeting you. Un gusto conocerlos. Perhaps I'll, I'm going to see you in next courses. Puede ser que me los encuentre en alguno de los próximos cursos. Ok. Eh, if somebody, si alguien tiene alguna duda, algunos comentarios, I'm going to stay connected after, voy a estar conectado unos minutos más todavía. Si alguien tiene alguna duda, necesita algún apoyo, algún tip, algo para practicar, me quedaré conectado todavía unos 5 o 10 minutos más. Ok. Si no, thank you very much. Appreciate being with you here. Gracias. Les aprecio mucho el apoyo. And see you soon. Espero verlos pronto. Bye bye. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Thank you bye for bye. everything. Bye, everybody. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night, Luis. Let's see you. Carla is left with me. Well, nobody wanted to stay with me, but we are going to stay here for a little while. Vamos a quedarnos acá unos minutos. And we are going to make like a small review. Vamos a hacer un pequeño requisito. Of the topics let's see today we cover different topics we were talking well actually we were using simple present because people were like describing uh, what do they do what is their what is the occupation each one of them has and also when we introduce ourselves we are using the simple present and besides that, let me see what else we were covering. We also were talking about there is and there are. We were using, we were explaining and applying how to use there is and there are in order to describe all the objects in, in a specific location. Like there is a TV, there's a bedroom, there's a bell, there's a sofa. One of the students says, well, one of them has a motorcycle, so he says there's a motorcycle in the living room. That's funny. And we also were talking about the descriptions of persons. We were describing people. Uh, when a student described her son, she said that he's beautiful. Another student described her brother, saying that her brother is handsome, polite, a very nice adjective because we were also talking about the positive and negative adjectives. And we were applying them when describing places, locations. And let me see. Well, I think that's it all. That's it all. Yes, that's it all. It was nice being here. And we are just going to wait a few seconds.
well, the time has come and this class is finished right now.